Okay, this is dealing with the blanks. And this is a, an area that a lot of students seem to get mixed up on. So um, we're looking at Beer's Law problem set from Gary's course packet, um, talking about problems number four and five. So the idea behind this kind of problem, it says a colorimetric chloride method is known to follow Beer's Law. The spectrophotometer, photometer, photometer was zeroed using a water blank. The absorbance of the 100 milli equivalent standard is 0.655. The absorbance of my patient sample is 0.632. And then it says the absorbance of my reagent blank was 0 0.100. What this is telling us is that the reagents used to perform this specific assay had color. So the reagent itself had color before we did anything to um, determine the concentration. So what this means is that that basic color that's in all of my reagent needs to be subtracted out first before I can start to use these absorbances. So um, it says my standard had an absorbance of 0.655 and my patient had an absorbance of 0.632. I subtract away 0.1 from each of those to compensate for the color of that reagent. So I now have an absorbance of 0.555 and an absorbance of 0.532. Now I can use those absorbances right in my formula. So concentration of my patient is equal to my 100 milli equivalent per liter standard over its absorbance, which I know is 0.555. Once we've removed the, uh, the reagent, and I multiply that times the absorbance of my patient, which is 0.532. I do the math and I get 95.8, or if I'm going to round that, I end up with 96. And I use the same units that I used in my problem. So it doesn't matter what that concentration is in, so long as I recognize that the answer is going to be in the same concentration. So here I've got a standard in milli equivalents per liter. So I end up with 96 milli equivalents per liter. Not too bad, right?